Hey guys, in this video, we're going to learn how to quickly build process flows in ThinkSell. Let's get into it. So if you want to build a process flow, there's a couple of things we can do. We can build it using default PowerPoint shapes, but that's really manual and time consuming, or we can use ThinkSell. And ThinkSell has some really cool built-in functions that speed up building process flows. So we'll start by inserting the process flow. We simply go to the button here, which says right pentagon slash chevron and we can drop it anywhere in the slide you'll notice that it's a smart object and that means that it will try and snap to different parts of the slide in our case we just want to snap it to the middle so this is our first pentagon we'll call this one phase one then we'll add a new pentagon by clicking on the duplicate arrow phase two and phase three now we need to add some rows for the text that sits underneath the pentagons. To do that, I've highlighted all of the pentagons and now I'll click on the button below, which says insert text below. And I'll do that two more times. Finally, I want to have a column uh, for row headers. So to do that, I'll highlight uh, this column of text. Then I'll click on the button here, which says duplicate to the left. Okay, this is the skeleton that we'll use to build out our process flow. Now what I'll do is add the information that we need. One quick tip for navigating through the process flow is holding Alt and pressing the arrow keys to navigate to different objects. And now we have all the information in our process flow. The next step is to format it. So in most cases, formatting is exactly the same as PowerPoint typically works. However, there's a few exceptions. So firstly, I want to color each of the pentagons. To do this, I click on it, and then from the drop down, I pick the color I want. One thing I like to do is add quite a thick border around the pentagons to make a little space between each of them. And there's a couple of other things we can do. So one is we can make either the rows or the columns alternate stripes. So for example, I'll highlight all of the text, then I'll click on this button, which says horizontal stripes, which will automatically add color in. We can change the color to whatever color we want. Now I'll quickly bold the row titles. And finally, I like to make some stylistic changes to the text inside the pentagons. The last thing that we'll go through is how to change the positioning and size of the process flow. It can be quite tricky if you haven't used smart objects before. So the first thing we'll do is highlight everything. Then we can reposition it by dragging the lock up the page. The second thing I'll do is highlight all of the pentagons and I like to resize them and add a bit more space in there. So I'll grab this lock and drag it down to add more space. So that's it. That's how you build process flows in ThinkSell. If you have any questions or comments, please drop them in the comment box down below. I hope that was helpful.